Welcome to another segment of Big Brother Nine Judges, and trust me to give you the vibes, the thrills, and everything exciting. Now let's get right into the gist. Our one day off and on couple were back at it again with their unnecessary stress. So Shex lifted Bella up as per lover's play now. But she was telling him that, uh-uh, guy, I didn't wear anything underneath. Of course, trust Baba not to listen to her. And that's how she changed it for him and they got into an argument. If you want your ring, just chill. I'm not about to just chill. Don't, don't tell me, don't uh, no, sound like that thing. <laughs> what do you say? It's hey, there's a liquid. Oh. I love you. So well, it was brighter. No, it's been like this, yeah. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. 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 It's the way Shex always used the relationship to threaten Bella for me. Like, which one is if you want your ring, just chill? Eh? Hey, <laughs> problem. Ring. And the annoying thing is, Bella starts apologizing for what? For what exactly? I mean, she told him she was naked, but he kept putting himself on top of her. Maybe he has gotten the return of the blue balls. Ah, or maybe he wanted to relay her into giving him what he wanted since he has been doing that and the only way for Bella to leave was to create an argument about it. I mean, think about it. Because he carried her when people were there, no argument. In fact, she was even laughing. Then he carried her on the way to the room, on the bed. That is when arguments arose, like the blue ball sex had. Now, wow, this relationship is giving me headache. Even though in the therapist has seen that this sex is all shades of wrong. So that's where it was coming from. So I need to apologize to anybody that was triggered by that. I don't think abuse is like me. It should be take it should be taken like me and regardless of how well a man treats you, it doesn't give him an excuse to abuse you. Yeah. Same as Still on Big Shex, the housemates started talking about how beauty toasted some of the guys, if not all the housemates in the house. And guess who started these rumors? The one and only. Big Papa Shakes. So the gist here now is Beauty who was disqualified has her name been mentioned all the time like she never left. And how can one woman go and toast 14 men in the house? In fact, it's true. She did. Maybe she even toasted Kayode self. Who knows? I remember when Shex was telling Bella that Beauty was forcing herself on him, but he pushed her away because he was loyal to Bella, blah, blah, blah. But it's still the same Shex that said this in his first diary session. No? On Monday, gave you a rare opportunity to meet the level two housemates. What do you think of that? Um... I think they're cool. Um, don't, I don't know too many of them. Obviously, I know Brewery. Um, he's really cool. Great guy. Um, I met like a girl, Beauty. <laughs> Her name is Beauty. She's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, don't, I didn't really get to connect with them that way. Yes, we know Beauty is guilty of acting out, overreacting, and all of that. But this babe was never thirsty for other men in the house, except from Groovy. And she even said it to Biggie that she only likes Groovy, so everything Big Shake said about her was a lie. Is he trying to cover up the fact that he tried to hit on her but she rejected him? That's why he's spreading all these rumors. Is that how low this guy can go? Even the girl they are lying on doesn't even acknowledge any of them, just killing themselves on top of beauty matter. After this show, eh? My advice to Shakes, Oga, please go for therapy. And that is that. Now moving on, days after the double eviction of the dearest therapist doing disqualified housemate Beauty sent her money kick. And the reason for this is for her being a good friend in the house and after she left. Now this is the first time if I'm correct that a housemate will be gifting another housemate monetary gift. Ah, I mean truly truly this doing babe defended Beauty till her last day in the house. I'm really at awe at this, but I also want people to please check on Chomzy. I mean, even if it's flower, at least you should have one. But wait till. Have you noticed how all the housemates that are being evicted have not backed any major deals since they've left the house? Hmm. 
on a normal day, once they leave, you will see one or two brands will be rushing them. Now them they rush us. But this set, eh, with all the drama and content, we are not seeing any deals, so no hair deal, no waist trainer deal, no tea deal. Now wow, you no know, get oil for your hair though. Let's circle it back to Chomzi. During her media round, she was asked to read tweets from her fans. Beauty. The foolish girl was even threatening to dance with Groovy more so beauty can run mad. Why is she now campaigning uh, championing beauty's case and saying shit about Fina? Huh? I don't think I was saying shit about Fina. I never did and I never intended. Maybe if it came out negative, that's just it, but I wasn't championing beauty. I was just putting myself in her shoes and that was just it. Nothing else. So this one says, how chums it take carry this finna and groovy matter for head share, acting like she was in level two when this whole pee happened. This girl is just too foolish and bitter. Chumzy thought she was all but a pure soul in the house, only for her to come out and read the way people perceived her. And they were not all that wrong, but her bar. You people should chill, small now, take it down a notch. Ah, this comment here can make a person fall into depression. I know you'd say, oh, she had it coming, but even though, haba. Yes, we know she hated the level 2 housemates, but letting them read negative comments right after they left the house is a bit wrong and bad for their mental health. Anyway, I hope she's enjoying level 4 outside the house. Love and light, my dear. Finally, during the pool party, Adekule had this to say about Fina and Groovy. It's Brian's face for me, like you could see the disappointment. Now, we all know that Adekule is a man known for his lies and instigating problems in the house, and it doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. Look, I'm not one to say that we know all what is happening in the house and trust Kayode not to show us the juiciest part. But from a guy that is already sick and tired of kissing Fina, how would he have sex in the house with this girl now? I mean, you could say the disgust when he's trying to kiss Fina all the time or Fina is pushing herself on him. I don't think this same guy would want to have anything to do with her in the house. Talk less of even coming outside. Ah, and of course, we would have somehow, somehow seen the video. It would have leaked. Same way that they leaked Chichi and Deji's sex tape. It would have leaked now. So this Adekunle guy is just yawning dust. Wait, he's even talking about Fina and Groovy. The person is moving on to Daniela. Does he not know that she has ridden a person in the house and has been ridden in return? Uh uh. This girl that you're moving to has been giving back to back one week steady. And you are here pointing fingers. This guy is just pain that no one decided to be in a ship with him. That's all. Well, that's all I have for you on this gist. Until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.